Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace, and I feel like going on a quest to save Sally Jackson and prevent the gods from going to war with one another. Do you wanna go? Today, we are going to be continuing watching season one of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. We are on episode three today. So last time, I learned that I've been pronouncing Thalia's name wrong the entire time for the last nearly 15 years. <laughs> I've been pronouncing it Talia and not Thalia, so we're gonna be correcting ourselves on that. Exposure therapy with the show will help for sure. <laughs> we made it to camp, we met Luke and Clarice, and most importantly Annabeth, and we were claimed by Poseidon after a riveting game of Capture the Flag. Chiron was telling Percy that he needs to go on a quest to retrieve the lightning bolt and bring it to Olympus and bring peace among the gods uh, that are currently fighting with one another because he has been claimed by Poseidon. Percy was like, I don't care about any of that, what about my mom? And Grover then came in and said, hey, Percy, guess what? I don't think your mom is dead. I think that Hades actually took your mom and is like keeping her down in the underworld waiting for you to come and get her and um then Percy was like all right I'm all in let's go where are we going what are we doing how do we get to the underworld let's go save my mom and honestly it's a mood that's how I feel too all I want is for Sally Jackson to be okay since we are starting our quest this episode we're gonna go see the Oracle. We're gonna visit the Oracle this episode. I'm so excited. I I think I've seen a still of what the Oracle looks like in the show, but I don't remember. I'm excited for more, for time with our trio. This is gonna be our first episode where we like have solid time with our trio, Percy, Grover, and Annabeth. I'm very excited. I loved everything that I saw from uh, Luke and Clarice in the last episode. I wish we got more of Annabeth in the last episode, but she was she was doing her thing. She was lurking, she was watching, she was observing, she was strategizing. I understand, but I want more. <laughs> we are going to get right into it and we are going to watch Percy Jackson and the Olympians season one, episode three, called We Visit the Garden Gnome Emporium. And today we also have uh, Jerome, the gnome. Um, Jerome wants you all to know that this Garden Gnome Emporium, he has no affiliation to it whatsoever. He doesn't know Auntie M. He doesn't want to know Auntie M. Um, and Jerome, if this is a difficult episode for you to watch, I completely understand. You take your time, you do whatever you need to do. Everyone, tell Jerome you love him in the comments below. It would make him feel better. Are we in the attic? Are we already seeing the oracle? Oh, this is totally the attic of the big house, right? <gasps> I'm so excited. I always loved imagining- <gasps> Oh, there she is! I always loved imagining the attic of the big house whenever I read the books. I'm Percy. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh, she looks intense. I was told a quest isn't a quest until you've said so. Which is weird. Is that it's an so actual weird. person? Halloween decoration. Oh, babe. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I would not want that as a Halloween decoration. As much as I love Halloween, no thank you. You seem busy. Hi. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, that's my mentality too. What do you think she smells like? Do you think it's more oniony or garlicky? Ooh, what is this? Come on. Paul. Not Paul. What? Paul. Gabe and face the God who has turned. And you shall find what was stolen and see it safely returned. Why is it showing up as Gabe? That this quest will proceed. Wait, they only give us half the quest. I have selected our most compelling candidates from which you will choose two to join you on this quest and ensure that we mm -hmm. succeed. Annabeth. There you go. Immediate. First. One ways to at least hear a name or two before choosing. You sure you don't want to hear more? Nope. Annabeth and Grover. And if the mission required someone to push me down a flight of stairs for it to succeed, 
would want someone who won't hesitate when they do it. <laughs> Annabeth. The first quest mate shall be Annabeth Chase. Yes, look at her. I love it. So, would you choose to go with you? You. You. Why? Because you're best friends. You shall be betrayed by the one who calls you friend and fail to save what matters most in the end. I don't want Gabe giving me this quest. I trust you. And right now, nothing's more important than that. I love them. I brought you this. It's crazy to see how much Walker has grown since wrapping this show and like the film and like the premiere and everything. Maya. Those are interesting. A gift from my dad. That was a cool animation of the wigs though. I thought about choosing you before I chose Grover. I have a chance to rescue my mom from Hades. I can't let anything stop me. If it gets in the way of the quest, Annabeth might try to, and you told me you'll always be on her side no matter what, and- It's okay. Really, I, I get it. Maybe don't tell all this to Luke though. Just say it, Percy. It's so pretty. Her tree is so pretty. Oh, I love it. She's really gonna miss that tree, huh? <laughs> when Annabeth first arrived here with Thali and Luke, they were being chased by monsters. Thalia turned back to fight to buy her friends some time. So at the last moment, Zeus intervened to save her life and changed her form. To a tree! She was the bravest demigod I ever knew. She fought valiantly and she met a hero's fate. She made a pine cone's fate. <laughs> Percy! Not the time. But this is so important. Why didn't Chiron spring for plane tickets? This seems kind of low priority, doesn't it? Sorry. I assume someone had told you. Yeah, babe, you can't fly anywhere. You're a forbidden child. Zeus might decide to take a shot at you himself. They want you to... <laughs> Seems like it would have been something they should have mentioned before they left for the quest. Snacks. I'll come with you. No. You'll stay right there. Why? It smells terrible back here. Monsters can't smell you through that. So that's where I want you. I want to vote. Who thinks that we should all go get to breathe fresh air and buy our own snacks? There's no voting. Right. I really don't want to be a tiebreaker. <laughs> I have a better- Why are you clapping? Oh, golly. The road's getting bumpy because I got me some friends who just can't get along. Oh dear, when the team's getting grumpy, the trick to getting through it is singing this Dude, song. what are you doing? <laughs> That's incredible! I love him so much! <laughs> Didn't like the look of that lady. The trick is to spot them first before they spot you. Uh-oh! Some are better at sensing your inadequacy. Some your need oh, for glory. Oh, newspaper! I see her! I see her! Annabeth sees her too! The front one. She's so smart. Honestly, her fit is kind of popping off though. She's kind of serving a look. How things have changed. You're not the frightened little girl I came for all those years ago. The pride of Athena's offspring. Perhaps hmm. the most formidable demigod child alive. Why are you here? I'm here to collect your friend. Collect them? For what? Lure him off this bus where I can take him quietly away from so many eyes, and your quest goes on unimpeded and unburdened. It's Percy's quest. That won't happen. She's not there anymore. Some children must learn the hard way. I don't like her. Look, I'm not against the idea of consensus. I'm just not sure the song is doing what you think it is. Guys, you need to open that window. <laughs> now! I don't think these windows are supposed to... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. She straight up just said, Never mind, get away from the prying eyes. I don't care about that anymore. Let everyone see. She looks so cool. Annabeth, let's go. 
Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, that's the first time we're seeing her dagger. We're done here. Oh, it looks so cool. <gasps> we haven't even gotten to Trenton, and we're wandering through a forest. I didn't even know we had forest in New Jersey, but we found one. <laughs> that's so true. We were sent on a quest by the Oracle, by the gods. Would you think it would be easy? It's supposed to be hard. Why are you so afraid of who you are? What? You know, what's interesting about this particular Seder path is it's actually the one my Uncle Ferdinand took when he set out on his own quest. Not Uncle Ferdinand. At least let's call your mom. Athena? Babe, what is Athena gonna do? I'd call my father, but we aren't exactly on speaking terms. And you think they are? You and your mother seem close, so why don't we ask her for help? Grover, will you explain to your friend that he needs to pull himself together? You can't ask her, can you? When was the last time she talked to you? Grover. I don't know why you keep pulling him into this. He's on my side. What makes you think that? He's my protector. It's his job. He was my protector first. First? <gasps> Not this being the way that it's... Very exciting, getting to walk in Uncle Ferdinand's footsteps. Next best thing to getting to... I am so Grover. <laughs> Hamburgers. What are you doing? Somebody's making hamburgers in the middle of nowhere on a Seder path. <gasps> Auntie M's Garden of Emporium. <laughs> Jerome, you don't have to look. It's okay. Anyone want to guess what M is short for? Oh. Not them figuring it out right away. Let's get out of here. Please. Oh, we still can. <gasps> Uh-oh. Hi, girly. You should have accepted my offer when you had the chance. Offer? What offer is she talking about? She wasn't betraying you. Not on my doorstep. On to M? Annie M, Annie M. A twister, a twister. She won't bother you as long as you're with me. But it isn't as though she'll leave either. Not if it means reporting that she failed to retrieve the son of Poseidon. Everyone knows so much more than Percy at all times. Choose who we make our monsters, but right now, that one wants to tear you limb from limb. And I'm offering you lunch. The choice is yours. I mean, she was just, just she just is supposed to deliver person. him. What? Dude, I can't explain it. I just. Trust Medusa? My mom used to tell me her story. And the point was always that she isn't what people think. And I definitely trust my mom. We love Sally, but... I don't know. You must be hungry. This is so Hansel and Gretel coded, I don't like it. We're not our parents, after all. And you and I might have more in common than you think. Hmm. Interesting. I don't like bullies. When one shows up on my doorstep, they end up spending a lot more time there than they planned for. <sighs> Look at her hair, it looks so cool. It means <gasps> that I cannot be bullied anymore. What my mother did to you wasn't a gift. It was a curse. You are looking at her way too long. Don't take that risk, babe. You love her? Of course I do. And so did I. I worshipped her. I prayed to her. I made offerings. She never answered. Not even an omen to suggest she appreciated my love. I wasn't like you, sweetheart. I was you. Don't go saying that to Annabeth. They want us to blame ourselves for their own shortcomings. That is not what happened. And you are a liar. Annabeth, maybe I would, I would just tone it down right now. Just because... She can kill you so easily. Would you give me a hand in the kitchen? I think lunch is ready. Don't give anyone a hand in the kitchen. Don't give anyone a hand in the kitchen. I don't like this. What's happening? She's going to betray you. No, she's not. I don't think she's like that. Then you will be an easy mark for her when the time comes. Your mother and I, we're like sisters in a way. Targeted. Uh-uh, don't go monster. bring it up, Sally. So I find myself feeling protective of you. A monster? 
Are you referring to Poseidon as the monster? Where is she now? Your mother. Uh-uh. Is she safe? I don't like her. Don't you go bring it up his mama. She's not. And do you trust your friends to help you to make her safe? Yes. Even if you doubt it, say yes. Help you remove them from the equation? Percy, don't even think about that. If you ask me to. Get out of here. Medusa? No, thank you. Thanks for the thanks for the food, but we're gonna go. There you go, thank you. <sighs> Some sense. <laughs> now I'm nervous. <sighs> Where's the iPod when you need it, really? <laughs> are they in the basement? Where are they? <gasps> Yeah, it looks like they're in the basement. That's the worst place you could be right now. This is really the worst place you could be right now. Percy, can you get some water on that fire? Real quick. Does she know? Whoa! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be her. Oh no. Oh, these are all demigods. Oh no. Bad place to go. She knew it. Here's the plan. I'll get in the air. I'll draw her attention as soon as Good you job, can Grover. See Maya. You guys start. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Ah, ah, off. Down. Ah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, where do you go? How tall is this area? Until we choose to be. Oh, she's gonna be sneaky and slithery like a little snake. You could have shown your fault what it means to stand up for someone you love. That is literally what he's doing. Perhaps you should be the lessons. No, thank you. Stand up. Let's have a look at you. This is terrifying, having to fight with your eyes closed. Can she do anything else though? Other than like kill you, turn you to stone? Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> now. Ah. That's really smart. Bit risky? To turn her invisible? But. Okay. Knock the hat off. How do you get the how you how you get back? You get a touch all over the head? Ooh, girl, she got wrecked. Oh, Uncle Ferdinand. Uncle Ferdinand. Oh, oh no. Cover. I'm so sorry. This is as far as he got on his quest. He's not like the others. He, he doesn't look afraid. That's so true. Oh. What are we gonna do with the head? I just took down a fury with it and I wasn't even trying. We can't just leave it for someone to find. Leave the hat on and put it in the basement. That ought to keep it safe. Her hat! She kind of needs that. Can we talk about the bigger issue here? What bigger issue? You could have saved your mother. That's what she said to you, like you discussed it already. Is your mother still alive? She's with Hades. But I appreciate your concern. Guys, just please stop. Oh, I'm concerned. What are you actually doing on this quest? Why do I have to hear about this from Medusa? Okay, while we're at it, you should have accepted my offer. What's that about, do you think? And why do we have to hear it from Electo? Enough! I mean, they both have points. It's the only thing she's ever possessed that connects them. That ought to matter to you. There you go. Thank you. And you? Really? His mom's alive. Can you imagine how confusing that must be for him? Feeling like he may have to choose between the fate of the world and the fate of the only person who's ever cared about him. Why are you talking about oh. this? Because he's the only adult here. He's a 24-year-old satyr. But maybe things need to get a little upsetting before they move forward. Honestly, facts. What are you so afraid of? What are you talking about? You heard me. I don't know. Grover, Grover's getting snaps. You've been fighting with her. You've been fighting with me. Because the Oracle said one of you would betray me. Okay? I chose her because I couldn't imagine we'd ever be friends. And I chose you because Aww. I thought if I could count on anyone to be on my side, no matter what, it was you. 
And now I'm feeling so alone. Oh, babies. Oh, it is a rough journey so far. Electo offered to help our quest if I gave you up to her. What did you say? Obviously, no. Just offered to help me save my mom if I turn to the two of you. What'd you say? I chopped her head off. I got off her head. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the response. You didn't choose to be demigods. But you can choose to be best friends. But we can decide that as long as the three of us are together, none of us are gonna be alone. Yeah. Hermes Express, she ships these things all over. Some of it goes to Olympus. Are we gonna see Lemon when we're in it? Medusa tried to derail our quest. She's got serious beef with your mom. When you look at it that way, it seems kind of like tribute or something. Doesn't it? Could be. This way. Part of your mom's still with us. Oh. I just want to see Lin Manuel Miranda so I can know how I feel about him being Hermes. Oh my gosh, this is this. Oh, this is the first time we're seeing. <gasps> oh, that's so fun. The gods Mount Olympus. Best wishes, Percy Jackson. Oh my god, it is him. Mount Olympus Causeway. Are we gonna see any of it yet? You guys are not gonna believe this. <sighs> okay, I know it's just like the first little thing we've seen of him. Hermes is one of my favorite gods from the original book series. And ever since I found out it's Le Memo Miranda, Part of me can't help but laugh because I can't see him as Hermes, but I don't know. I think we'll see. We'll see. I'm not like disappointed or anything, but I'm just like unsure still of how to feel. I feel like I'm so happy that we're like taking our time in like each major like plot point of the story. This episode definitely had the most differences from the book so far, but. I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people are like already kind of annoyed that it's not word for word exactly the book, but the way that I've always looked at adaptations is that it's the same story but a different experience. So I know that things are gonna have to change. I really like the way that they're developing the relationship between the three of them so far. I mean, it makes sense. Like, they wouldn't trust each other automatically right away. They've only been on this quest for less than a day. So, like, to have all of these questions, for Percy to not know all of these things that Annabeth is like, well, you should know that. And they're like, oh, well, actually, he's literally known he was a demigod for, like, what, at this point? At this point? with the, the progress of the show, like maybe a few days. I do really like the way that it's going so far. I'm excited to see what comes next. Next is St. Louis, right? I think that's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be really cool. The conversation between Annabeth and Electo, I was not expecting that at all either. Um, and we only saw two Furies and not three. So I wonder if we'll see a third. If Electo is turned into stone, does that mean that she's going to go, uh, that she's going to like reanimate in the underworld like we should see later on in the season? I don't know. I don't know how that works. We shall see. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching season one, episode three of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I had a good time, I hope you guys had a good time. Make sure you subscribe down below, stick around, join me as I continue to watch more and more of Percy Jackson as the episodes are released. I'm so excited, I love this show so much, I love this story so much, I can't wait for more of it to come out and to see how our heroes progress on this journey, on their quest on their friendships um and we will have to keep in mind i'm gonna have to watch it back and learn the the consensus song and uh you know we'll just uh, we'll have a grand old time singing that <laughs> all throughout our quest if you guys missed the last two episodes 
or if you want to check them out again they'll be linked in the description as well as all of my social medias if you want to check those out follow me outside of here and yeah that's it i will see you guys very soon for another episode of percy jackson and the olympians bye